Hello friends. Very first I wish you all a very happy Diwali. On this auspicious occasion, I welcome to all of you, on my new YouTube channel, Metrology. It was long demand from all my well-wishers that I should begin a YouTube channel to publish learning videos along with the PDF circulations. Finally the day came to begin with. Please do not forget to subscribe and like the channel so that regular good learning videos I would upload to all of you. Also comment for any of the topic you want to learn in near future. Okay, let us start. In this DDMT tip we will discuss on the true position control apply to angular holes. Normally using the true position symbol for linear dimensions is somewhat easy. But in real world all the components are not in cubical shapes. Please refer the given picture of a part. In this part one of the surfaces is inclined with other surface at 60 degrees. Let us take the objective that, on this inclined surface a hole need to produce as we see in picture. If this hole is to be positioned with cylindrical tolerance zone from the intersecting point shown then specifications to be represented along with applying feature control frame, datums and basic dimensions. In the next slide we will discuss how to apply all necessary GD and T symbols in the drawing. Following are the steps to follow to produce a GD and T drawing. Step 1. Make a drawing of sectional view in such a way that clearly the hole is saw at a given angle. Step 2. Place the datum symbols primary datum A and secondary datum B from where location of the hole need to position. The tertiary datum can be applied in different view which would be more appropriate to show. Just for learning purpose we have discussions with datum A and datum B. Step 3. Apply all necessary linear and angular dimensions as basic. We know in GD and T we don't put tolerances on the basic dimensions but apply geometric tolerance on the feature. Step 4. In this case the angular hole at 60 degrees which is the feature to apply true position control with cylindrical tolerance zone. Maximum material condition if necessary and then datums. Apply feature control frame as shown. This complete the GD and T drawing to control the angular position. In the next tip we will have discussion how to inspect the part on 3D CMA. Once again thank you very much for the view of this video. Please subscribe and like it. Okay bye see you in next video soon.